Hey, adventurers! Are you ready to explore one of the most amazing countries in the world? A country that has a rich and diverse culture, stunning architecture, and a tropical climate. A country that has something for everyone, whether you're looking for nature, culture, or entertainment. A country that is none other than Singapore. In this video, we're going to show you the top 10 things to do in Singapore in 2024, along with some useful tips and information that will make your trip easier and more enjoyable. And make sure you watch till the end because we have a bonus for you that you don't want to miss. So buckle up and let's go on an adventure to Singapore. Number 10, Gardens by the Bay. Number 10 on our list is Gardens by the Bay, one of the most iconic attractions in Singapore. This is a futuristic park that covers 101 hectares of land and features giant super trees, domes, and sculptures. The super trees are vertical gardens that rise up to 50 meters high and are connected by a skywalk that offers amazing views of the city. The domes are climate-controlled conservatories that house thousands of plants from different regions of the world. And the sculptures are artistic creations that blend nature and technology. You can enjoy the gardens by walking around, taking photos, or watching the light and sound shows that happen every night. The admission fee is $28 per adult for both domes, and the best time to visit is in the evening when the gardens are illuminated and the shows are on. Trust us, you'll be amazed by the beauty and creativity of this place. Number nine, Singapore Botanic Gardens. Number nine on our list is Singapore Botanic Gardens a UNESCO World Heritage Site that dates back to 1859. This is a place where you can relax, picnic, and learn about the plants and animals that live here. The gardens cover 82 hectares of land and feature a variety of attractions, such as the National Orchid Garden, which has over 1,000 species of orchids, the Swan Lake, which has a pair of mute swans from Amsterdam, and the Rainforest, which has some of the oldest trees in Singapore. The admission is free, except for the National Orchid Garden, which costs $5 per adult. And the best time to visit is in the morning, when it is cooler and less crowded. This is a great place to escape the hustle and bustle of the city and enjoy the nature and tranquility of the gardens. Number eight, Chinatown. Number eight on our list is Chinatown, the cultural heart of Singapore, and the place where you can experience the history, the cuisine, and the festivals of the Chinese community. Chinatown is a colorful and lively area, with streets lined with shops, temples, and markets. Some of the highlights are the Buddha Tooth Relic Temple, which houses a sacred relic of the Buddha, the Chinatown Heritage Center, which showcases the life and stories of the early immigrants, and the Maxwell Food Center, which has some of the best hawker food in Singapore, such as chicken rice, char kway tao, and rojak. The admission is free for most attractions, and the best time to visit is during the Chinese New Year, which usually falls in late January or early February, when the area is decorated with lanterns and fireworks, and you can join the celebrations and festivities. Number seven, Little India. Number seven on our list is Little India, another cultural hub of Singapore, and the place where you can experience the sights, the sounds, and the smells of the Indian community. Little India is a vibrant and colorful area, with shops selling spices, fabrics, and jewelry, mosques and temples offering prayers and blessings, and street art depicting the history and culture of the people. Some of the highlights are the Sri Viramakaliaman Temple, which is dedicated to the goddess Kali, the Mustafa Center, which is a 24-hour shopping mall that sells everything from electronics to groceries, and the Tekka Center, which has some of the best hawker food in Singapore, such as roti prata, biryani, and dosa. The admission is free for most attractions and the best time to visit is during the Deepavali, which usually falls in late October or early November, when the area is lit up with candles and rangoli and you can enjoy the music and dance performances. I number six, Marina Bay Sands. Number six on our list is Marina Bay Sands, one of the most luxurious and expensive hotels in the world and the place where you can enjoy the views, the amenities, and the entertainment. Marina Bay Sands is a stunning hotel that consists of three towers connected by a rooftop terrace, which has the world's largest infinity pool, a observation deck, and a restaurant. The hotel also has a casino, a mall, a museum, and a theater, where you can find some of the best shows and events in Singapore. 
The room rate starts from $399 per night, and the access to the pool is exclusive for hotel guests. The best time to visit is at night, when you can see the light show and the fireworks that happen every day. This is a place where you can splurge and pamper yourself and feel like a star. Number five, Sentosa Island. Number five on our list is Sentosa Island, a resort island that is also known as the state of fun and the place where you can enjoy the sun, the sand, and the fun. Sentosa Island is a popular destination for locals and tourists alike, with a variety of attractions, such as Universal Studios, which has thrilling rides and shows based on movies and TV shows, Sea Aquarium, which has over 100,000 marine animals from different habitats, and Adventure Cove Water Park, which has slides, pools, and a snorkeling lagoon. The admission fee varies depending on the attraction, and the best time to visit is during the weekdays, when it is less crowded. This is a place where you can have a blast and make some memories with your friends and family. Number four, Singapore Zoo. Number four on our list is Singapore Zoo, one of the best zoos in the world, and the place where you can see over 2,800 animals from 300 species. Singapore Zoo is a zoo that is designed to mimic the natural habitats of the animals and to allow visitors to interact with them in a safe and respectful way. Some of the highlights are the Night Safari, which is the world's first nocturnal zoo, where you can see animals that are active at night. The River Safari, which is Asia's first river-themed zoo, where you can see animals that live in and around rivers. And the Jurong Bird Park, which is Asia's largest bird park where you can see over 5,000 birds from 400 species. The admission fee is $1.39 per adult for the zoo, and the best time to visit is in the early morning, when the animals are more active and the weather is cooler. This is a place where you can learn and appreciate the diversity and beauty of the animal kingdom. Number three, Orchard Road. Number three on our list is Orchard Road, the shopping paradise of Singapore and the place where you can find everything from luxury brands to local bargains. Orchard Road is a two two kilometer long boulevard that is lined with shopping malls, restaurants, and nightlife venues. Some of the highlights are Ion Orchard, which is a futuristic mall that has over 300 stores and a 360 degree observation deck, Paragon, which is a classy mall that has over 200 stores and a concert hall and 313 at Somerset which is a trendy mall that has over 170 stores and a food court. The prices vary depending on what you buy, and the best time to visit is during the Great Singapore Sale, which usually happens from May to July, when you can get discounts up to 70% on various items. This is a place where you can shop till you drop and treat yourself to some retail therapy. Number two, Merlion Park. Number two on our list is Merlion Park, the symbol of Singapore, and the place where you can take a photo with the mythical creature that has the head of a lion and the body of a fish. Merlion Park is a waterfront park that is located near the Marina Bay and features a 8.6 meter tall statue of the Merlion, which spouts water from its mouth. The statue is a representation of Singapore's origin as a fishing village and its transformation into a modern city. The admission is free, and the best time to visit is in the afternoon, when you can see the contrast between the old and the new buildings, such as the Fullerton Hotel, which used to be a post office, and the Marina Bay Sands, which is a hotel, casino, and mall. This is a place where you can capture the essence and the spirit of Singapore and take a souvenir photo that you can show off to your friends. Number one, Hawker Centers. And finally, number one on our list is Hawker Centers the best way to taste the diverse and delicious cuisine of Singapore and the place where you can find everything from chicken rice to chili crab. Hawker centers are open-air food courts that have dozens of stalls selling a variety of dishes from different ethnic groups, such as Chinese, Malay, Indian, and Peranakan. Some of the best hawker centers are Lao Passat, which is a historic building that has over 100 stalls, and a Satay Street, Newton Food Center, which is a popular spot for seafood lovers and tourists, and Old Airport Road Food Center, which is one of the oldest and largest hawker centers in Singapore and has some of the most famous and cheap stalls. The average price for a meal is $4, and the best time to visit is any time, as they are open from morning to night.
This is a place where you can eat like a local and try some of the most authentic and mouth-watering dishes in Singapore. Bonus, Haji Lane. And as promised, we have a bonus for you. If you're looking for something unique and quirky, you should check out Haji Lane, a hidden gem in Singapore, and the place where you can find hipster shops, cafes, and murals. Haji Lane is a narrow alley that is located in the Kampong Glam area and has a bohemian vibe and a creative flair. Some of the best shops are Dulcet Fig, which sells vintage clothes and accessories, Mondays Off, which sells home decor and lifestyle products, and The Blog Shop, which sells trendy and affordable fashion items. The prices vary depending on what you buy, and the best time to visit is in the evening, when the street comes alive with music and art. This is a place where you can find some unique and quirky items and support the local and independent businesses. And that's it for our top 10 things to do in Singapore in 2024. We hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something new and useful. Singapore is a wonderful country that has so much to offer, and we highly recommend you visit it at least once in your lifetime. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below, and we'll try to answer them as soon as possible. And if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel, The Global Adventures, for more travel tips and guides. We post new videos every week, and we would love to have you join our community of adventurers. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Until then, keep exploring and keep having fun. Bye!